What's poppin'? What's poppin' YouTube? This is Big Lunch back with another reaction video. Today we're gonna be reacting to, um, it's a little weird. So the new DNF duel or Dungeon Fighter fighting game uh, channel has been dropping like little short 30-ish second videos showing off the characters. And I thought, you know, reacting to just a 30 second clip by itself might be like a little, uh, like, do I really wanna do that? You know what I'm saying? Is that really like, good enough will I, will I be will, do I have enough there to actually react to but now they've dropped enough they've dropped basically a video for every character that they've showed off in the promotional material so far up to this point so we have a character for both those fighters and that Templar uh looking uh character and the the gunslinging character so you know might as well re re go ahead and react to all of them all in this video and just see what we can parse out see what we can actually like get see if we get hyped for this game any more than we already are so uh, i'm gonna be uh going through each and one of them starting off with the berserker um let's see uh if we have some sauce in here this looks like their intro cinematic oh my goodness he le he definitely looks like a mid-range fighter What is this? Is uh his super right here? That was dope. That was dope. We can go through that a little bit. He has some big slashes, which are pretty clean. That looks like a, a like a combo ender. And then I've been looking at this a lot uh, since, wondering what it is, speculating. But there's like that little like. Flash, which kind of looks like a, a Roman cancel from Guilty Gear, which allows him to extend this combo with a, another, like, I guess, Ender-ish. This looks like a grab, which is dope. I wonder what that is. That that looks like a little running move. I guess like maybe he like jump cancel jump cancel something or, and then goes into like a a downward slash. Dude, this is dope. He has like he has like a lot of fucking like blood moves that are like close they drag you in you know they have like suction uh suction properties to them and stuff like that which is dope and this end right, right here so clean he definitely looks clean he definitely looks like a a, a mid-range fighter you know what i'm saying maybe i don't know he might not be like super rushed down because if you see there's moments where he'll drop like like the ender of this right where he puts up like a, a it looks like a projectile-ish kind of move maybe it blocks projectiles but then you know, it, it allows for him to stay at this range without being pressured. It looks like, you know, I'm assuming. And that move looks like he sucks them in. He sucks them in a little close. You know, rushdowns, they're more focused on, like, coming at you, whereas it looks like his play style would be more at the mid-range, him trying to keep you in that sweet spot of being able to hit you and, and keep you there and not let you run away, but at the same time, you know, not super-duper running you into the corner, if that makes sense. But that's dope. Next up, we have the Inquisitor, which is like the Templar-looking, knight-looking character. Uh, don't know much about them other than the fact that when they first showed off the trailer, she had, she had like a little super where she put you on a cross and there was hella fire in the background and shit, which looked dope. But let's see if they can they show us a little bit more about that. Yep, definitely got that fire. Reading the Bible. Oh my gosh, she she just threw like a little projectile. Like a little Dawson flame. Oh, she has hella shit. Oh, snap. Yup, here we go. Here's the little... Put your ass on a pillar and then... Ah, oh, that's so clean. Oh, we definitely gotta unpack this. That's dope. Damn, bro, this character... This character looks similar to uh to the Berserker as far as like where where they want to stay at their sweet spot of their range, but this character looks like a heavy Okazemi character. Like they have a lot of setups, you know. Like like let's go back through them, right? She gets she gets a hard knockdown, and then backs up, throws the flames, and puts you in like a little like I guess state where you can get more damage. She can get more damage, and she throws down a fucking a a water wheel, but it's made of fire. It just keeps you in hit stun. Oh my god, this shit looks crazy. This shit looks crazy. Her her range looks dope though. 
the big flames on her moves. You know what it looks like? I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm reading into it too hard, but it looks like her normal slashes, right? Don't have fire properties, but when you are debuffed, right? Then her slashes do have that fire, that increased damage of that fire, that fire property to it. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it right now. She's like, she has a debuff. She has the fire debuff. And I don't know what that other, like, that the other jar that she throws at you does. Probably, probably just slips you up kind of like a, like, I don't know, Diddy Banana from Smash Bros. But I'm calling it right now. Her her game plan is about getting a knock, getting a hard knockdown on you and then throwing a the fire on Okazemi and then uh, basically debuffing you or buffing herself while she attacks you. I'm calling it. That's how she is. She's not going to be super rushed down. She's going to be that mid-range similar to... The berserker i'm calling him calling it but she looks clean this final this fi this super right here looks dope as hell god this game looks dope next up we have the grappler this character looked clean in some of the in one of the trailers i saw it looked like there was like two like grappler-ish characters like a male and a female grappler-ish character so uh let's see what he can do Looks like a Ryu-ish kind of character. Okay. Command grab character for sure. What the fuck? Wow. There is a lot to unpack here. First off, going through it, you can see he has like a lot of closer hitting moves, you know, definitely looks like Ryu, straight into a fucking, I'm, I'm just gonna call that a command grab, not a regular throw. He has that move, he uses that move uh, later on to like, I guess get a, a cross up off of a hard knockdown. That looks like a get in move. He definitely looks like a, like a rush down-ish uh, grappler, you know, try, I'm trying to get in, I'm trying to go through projectiles, I'm trying to, stay right on you which is dope this super is clean as hell but damn that's crazy he like he he looks dope you know when i think of like uh command grab characters or grapplers i think of like single hitting big moves or forward advancing moves that allow for me to get into that range to you know do a command grab and he has one of those he has he has one or he has two of them right he has this move right here right that looks like he dashes in Hits you up, probably leads to a hard knockdown. Then he has this move, where he does like a little flip, and it looks like he uses that right there because it doesn't hit her. It, it looks like he used that to like reposition himself on the stage, keep to you know side change, or maybe I don't know, maybe it was like a, a form of like a pseudo mix up, like a cross up mix up. But uh, yeah, he looks weird, dude. He looks he looks weird. I don't know if he's my cup of tea, but I usually play a lot of command grab characters. You know, in older games, not not in like Guilty Gear or anything like that, but we'll see. We'll see. He looks clean. So far, they have not been disappointed with how the presentation for these characters showing off their moves, making them look interesting. You know, next up, we have the other fighting uh, character, the other like strike character. Um, well, they're literally called Striker, uh, which is like the female version of, I guess, the grappler. So uh, let's see if she's just as interesting as him because he was dope. Okay. Yeah. This character looks like super rushed down, super very similar like Cammy or like uh I don't know. Ah, that super was alright. Wait, let's really look at that. She comes up, starts whooping your ass, then pulls you in. Let's see with the the one inch punch, I guess. Uh, yeah, that looks cool. I don't think it's as flashy as the other characters have been. Let's let's dissect her a little bit. Let's like let's dissect her. Starts off, you know, similar to the the grappler has these moves, 
this shit looks like some fucking, I don't know, like some Street Fighter cami shit. She looks like she's knock you up in the air, crossing you up. Oh my goodness. She looked like she just did the, the, the same three moves and Romy canceled each each one of them. She looks like she does like a little dash into another move into that little same little shoulder shoulder charge move. So it it definitely looks like you could do hella of those little like Roman cancel type moves. It probably costs meter, but it probably doesn't cost like fifty percent of your meter, um, like how Roman cancels do. But yeah, she looks dope. She looks like uh, she looks like uh, she's gonna be a rush down mix up character. Like she's gonna be crossing you up and and throwing you in the air, and you don't know which side she's gonna be on or push like a lot of forward advancing moves, pushing you into the corner and stuff like that. That's dope. Oh my goodness, you saw that? It looked like she did a light punch, light punch, light punch in the air. Like <laughs> that's dope. That's dope. I'm gonna go ahead and make a prediction right now. Uh, she's probably gonna have low. If they if there are lower health characters, she's probably gonna be a super low health character, and she probably doesn't do as much damage as the other characters. I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now, just based off how she looks. But uh, she probably uh gets a lot of gets a lot of mix ups. She's probably a Milia type character. You know, Milia is like actually exactly like that. You know, doesn't have hella like crazy ass damage and uh doesn't have the most health, but can keep you in in that in the blender. You know, keep you mixed up, keep going at you, keep racking up the damage, even though she doesn't probably doesn't have huge uh combos. Last but not least, I'm not gonna lie. Ever since the they they shut off those first two little trailers for the game, this has been the character I've been looking forward to the most. I don't know. He looks dope as fuck uh, in those trailers. He looks like a ranged character, big projectile boy. So uh, let's see if the ranger got what we're looking for. <laughs> looks like a little cowboy. Oh my god! Big projectile boys. Yo. Whoa, by far that was the best one. By far that was the best one. Oh my god, did you see that shit? We gotta go back. We gotta play that full screen. Look how fast he does these combos. Then throws his guns out and they're just spinning this. Oh my god. This character looks so clean. You know what this character looks like? Oh, those moves. This character looks like Joker from Smash Brothers. This move right here. Joker has this move where he shoots down. And he has this move where he like shoots in like an arc. Yo, that's crazy. And it's crazy because that's the character I played. I played this Smash Brothers. I was playing Joker a lot because his guns was so dope. Shooting them revolvers, baby. Oh, he looks so clean. He looks so clean. We gotta, we gotta go, we gotta go over that. We gotta go back over that in slow mo. Starts off. This shit is cool. So it looks like he throws the guns out, right? And there's, they stay there, but they're also shooting too. So they probably have a, a larger range. Damn, that looks like a little overhead. He looks, yeah. That, that looks like his normal throw. It looks dope. That's crazy. So, I don't know. Because, like, if you have, like, a zoning character, I don't know if the trailer for that zoning character is going to, like, make him look like a zoner, you know? Because that, that might not look interesting. Maybe this is not really how he plays. He's supposed to play back, supposed to be a zoner, and then get a hit and then go in or whatnot. But the way they're showing off this character, he does not look like a zoner at all. He looks like he's up in your face, rushing you down, dude. I, like... Come on, dog. Look look at these forward advancing moves that he has. Right? He has, like, he's jumping in, getting cross-ups, right? Having moves, spin moves where he's fucking just flying at you. Like, he put himself in the corner and then did a combo ender where he shoots a bunch of guns like that. That's so dope. He looks like he's going to have, like, longer combos, too. He looks like he's going to have longer combos than some of the other characters. Or maybe not, but 
dude, this this like super where he has the fucking crows, like the crow feathers flying off of him, and he's just spinning around you, shooting the fuck out of you. Oh my goodness. Yep. This just like reaffirmed my my interest in this character so much. That was like the best one so far. And I I'm not even trying to be biased. Like that just was like the best trailer so far that showed off the character like so in like such a better light than the other trailers. But man, that looks dope. He looks like that hey, he looks like he's gonna be everybody's man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody looks it looks like everybody's gonna play him. But yeah, that was clean. That was clean. But yeah, that's uh that's uh all the all the uh play videos so far uh that they've dropped. They're probably I don't know I don't know if they're a game with just what is it, five characters? I don't know if they're just going to drop a game with five characters. There's probably going to be more, but these were like the five characters that they've been showing off so far in the the trailer. So we'll see if they drop some more. I'll definitely react to some more if they drop it. And we'll, we'll see if they give us a, a little bit more of an extended look at each of these characters. But so far, I'm very pleased with this game. This game looks beautiful. It looks dope. The animations look sleek. The gameplay looks fun. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't look boring especially the ranger god damn dude I'm, I'm i'm gonna fuck up this game with the ranger i promise you but yeah it looks it looks dope it looks dope dnf duel i'm excited for it i'm definitely excited for it and you should be too can't wait to play with y'all can't wait to play with everybody uh yeah if you enjoyed the video leave a like comment subscribe share the video helps the channel grow and uh peace